Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, week 35. Here we have a coronal T2 fat sat weighted image of the right hip, which has an obvious abnormality. And the question that I have for everyone is based on the MRI findings, which of the following would not be a diagnostic consideration? Is it osteonecrosis, transient bone marrow edema syndrome, osteoarthritis, or septic arthritis? And if we take a look at the images, what we see is that there's marked and focal bone marrow edema along the femoral head and neck. This marrow edema spares the acetabulum. So we have marrow edema on only one side of the joint. And of course, there is a small uh, hip joint effusion with probable subsynovitis and filling defects within the joint fluid. But this is an important case because often we don't, a lot of residents struggle when there's bone marrow edema on only one side of the joint and not both sides. Now, obviously, articular abnormalities like arthritis osteoarthritis or you know, inflammatory arthropathy or even things like synovial processes like PVNS will often involve both sides of the joint. But there are other things that one should consider if only one side of the joint is involved as in this case. So of course the answer here is osteoarthritis because we would expect there to be bone marrow edema or subchondral cystic change or subchondral marrow edema on both sides of the joint. And that's not what we see here. But osteonecrosis or avascular necrosis can certainly have bone marrow edema on one side of the joint, particularly if it's early osteonecrosis, transient bone marrow edema syndrome, which is an idiopathic uh, syndrome that involves predominantly middle-aged men and pregnant females, typically has bone marrow edema on one side of the joint. And of course, septic arthritis early on can involve one side of the joint with erosions and marrow edema, especially if there's a joint effusion and synovitis, as in this case, uh, before it involves both sides of the joint. So the best answer here would be osteoarthritis. And I want to go over the differential diagnosis for bone marrow edema on only one side of the joint, okay? And of course, you would obviously consider an acute fracture. If we had a fracture of the bone with a hypointense fracture line, let's say of the femoral head or neck, that would involve marrow edema on only one side of the joint, sparing the acetabulum. A focal bone tumor, remember that bone tumors often incite marrow edema, particularly if there's a bone lesion you know, in, for example, the femur. Now, there are some important exceptions like chondroid tumors, like an enchondroma, which does not incite bone marrow edema around the lesion. But most bone tumors will result in bone marrow edema around the actual tumor and on one side of the joint. Of course, osteonecrosis or AVN, avascular necrosis, can result in bone marrow edema on one side of the joint. That's often the first finding that we see. Sometimes it's normal, but then you get bone marrow edema, you can get a subchondral fracture, and then you get the serpiginous geographic signal already that we're used to seeing in osteonecrosis or avascular necrosis. Transient bone marrow edema syndrome, which is a umbrella term for transient bone marrow edema, regional migratory osteoporosis or transient osteoporosis of the hip, typically seen in middle-aged men or pregnant females where you get you know, pain and you get, often get bone marrow edema that is reversible with time. And it's often on one side of the joint. And of course, early infection like osteomyelitis or even septic arthritis can result in marrow edema, replaced marrow signal on T1 with T1 dark signal, T2 bright signal. It can often involve one side of the joint before it becomes uh, related to both sides of the joint, often with an effusion and soft tissue finding. So that's a nice differential diagnosis for when you see bone marrow edema on only one side of the joint, as opposed to more commonly when we see it on two sides of the joint. And this is just a table that kind of goes over what you should be looking for when you have marrow edema on one side of the joint. For obviously, for an acute fracture, you want to be looking for the history of trauma, bone marrow edema with a hypo-intense fracture line. That's the key for an acute fracture. A focal bone tumor often will have marrow edema, but there will be a focal lesion associated with the bone marrow edema. And you correlate that with radiography. Radiography is the most important imaging modality for a bone tumor because that allows you to assess the matrix, whether it's chondroid, osteoid, you know, ground glass, whatever it is, that matrix is often more apparent on a radiograph versus advanced imaging like CT or an MRI. Osteonecrosis, again, edema can be the first sign, but typically we look for the serpiginous geographic signal abnormality. You may have the double line sign, which is the inner bright signal that represents granulation tissue and the outer dark signal that represents sclerosis. That's pathognomonic for osteonecrosis, you're looking for predisposing factors like trauma, steroids, alcohol, sickle cell disease. Those all will go with osteonecrosis. Transient bone marrow syndrome, which we talked about, is when you have reversible bone marrow edema that subsequently will resolve common in middle-aged men and pregnant females. And finally, infection or septic arthritis 
typically results in marrow edema. You may have erosions, soft tissue abnormalities, effusions, complex effusions like synovitis. Um, you may have a fever, chills, elevated ESR. Those are the pearls that will help you decide what the specific diagnosis is when you have bone marrow edema on one side of the joint. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another super high yield MSK unknown case.